Brad Garlinghouse taking aim and using a Twitter as his voice. Brad goes after the SEC, and you're going to love to hear what he says. And Celsius, the story that just keeps on giving. We've learned now that X number of states are looking into Celsius for legal naughty reasons. Answer below what you think the X is and learn later what the actual number is. And also we've learned that Celsius has paid $3 million so far in legal fees. So any money that was recovered, well, subtract 3 million because it goes to the lawyers they're always the winners let's leave this screen and go into this one recently i've posted a few polls out there that i would like you to vote on go to the community tab of the page and scroll on down evil or good check out that video should we pay or not pay hackers and is crypto strong enough to sway elections get in there and vote now i've been looking at the results daily now on to this did you guess 40 states are looking into celsius if you did then you are correct if you didn't and you picked a very small number shame 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 you haven't been watching the channel because it was well you know obviously we knew the number was big anyways yep 40 states going into celsius for fraud securities a whole slew of things here's a big problem with that not only is celsius spending money with the lawyers through their bankruptcy court these states now also want to know hey what is your plan before going forward you have to run this through us because you have broken a bunch of laws and we need to see even if going forward are people even guaranteed their money wait a minute what if the states come in and find out now that they're saying hey you've been participating in unregulated securities zoink we're gonna take those away for you especially if you're in the united States. I'm telling you, this Celsius thing is really jacked up. 19,000 pages of document have been leaked in the bankruptcy proceedings, all of their transactions. So if you use Celsius and you thought your stuff was anonymous, all your information is out there, all 19,000 pages of transactions. Now, on top of this, the lawyer's fees are killing them with bankruptcy. Mashinsky now spent a lot of him, well, I don't want to say spent, he sold a lot of his goodies while you were locked out of your funds. These states now are going to be coming in saying, hey, look, what's the precedent here? Are people trading in illegal security? Should we even give them portions of their money back? Or are they trading stuff that naughty lists? See, precedent coming out with this is going to be huge. That's why I decided to follow this in the beginning. And if you're watching this video now, your football team is either losing or they're blowing the doors out of someone. Either way, let me know. Are you watching football while sneaking away and watching some video? Thank you, though, for sneaking away and watching. Ripple CEO says his outrage has grown regarding the SEC lawsuit. Here's why he took it to Twitter. And as always, any article you see in this video will be linked in the description below. My outrage has grown as the litigation has unfolded. There is no recourse. There is no consequence that brought this lawsuit. The SEC's pursuit of a policy objective isn't about a faithful allegiance to the law. It's about power. And remember, everyone, government works for the people. And crypto is a very pro-people thing. So why aren't the governments working more pro, more positively, open door policies? Instead, no, they're coming in barging, regulating with enforcement. And that's not what we want because that's not how you grow in industry. You want to grow hand in hand with regulators saying, hey, give us some guidance here. What do you think? And the regulator was like, hey, we like this, but no, we don't like that one. We'll give you the blessing. Awesome. Not, nope, we're going to start just going after you and not even answer your request quest to talk. Yep, that's right. We've learned that the SEC has pretty much only talked to Ethereum. Yeah, I think it was seven or eight times denying a bunch of others out there that are requesting some open door time with, you know, Gary and his team. Brad stated that during the DC FinTech week that a lawsuit might see resolution in the first half of 2023. He says whether that's the first or second quarter, we'll see. I would also like to add that attorney John Deaton now is representing over 75,000 people with damages over $15 billion caused by the SEC's overreach. Can you remember another case out there where there was 75,000 people ready to take on the government for 15 billion. I'm telling you, this case in the Celsius thing, there are precedents set all over the place. You know, people can say whatever you want, but these are public statements posted on Twitter, right? I mean, we also think, right, there's the court and then there's also the court of public opinion. I gotta be honest with you, the court of public opinion right now is weighing so heavily positively on the side of XRP Brad Garlinghouse. Now, with the SEC and their overreach, you 
got to think they've really isolated, really alienated themselves in this crypto sphere. Here's the problem, everyone. Government lately has had a lot of overreach. There's been a lot of overregulation, a lot of telling us what we should be doing with ourselves, our thoughts, and so forth, okay? Now, I'm not going to get into the specifics of it, but a lot of us out there are saying, hey, that's kind of the same thing with crypto. Why are you overregulating it this way? Why are you doing it in such a draconian fashion? Let's be positive about this. Let's work together. So we've got two big stories where precedents are going to rule the crypto space going forward. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about the gross Celsius situation. And hey, Brad out there taking it to Twitter, right? Good idea or not, let me know as well. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to check out on those comments. Check out this cool video I did right here. See y'all later. Have a great rest of your Sunday or Monday if you were naughty and didn't watch this the day that I released it. All right, take care, everyone.